Hi guys. I'm getting ready to start a big one. This is a uh, 36 by 48 and I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to try to keep it light and airy and kind of abstracted wildflowers or something. I don't know, but I want it to be a lot of pinks and oranges and things like that. Um, I'm going to be out in the hallway next month at the Millworks and I'm putting a lot of my florals out there so I want a big one that will relate to what I'm putting out. So that's, that's the plan. But of course, first thing I'm going to do is doing all of my mark making. And I do have texture on here already. Uh, it's dry. I use super heavy gesso. I put it on with a, uh, with a uh, spatula and uh, let it uh, put it on thick in some areas, very thin in other areas, and there's places that there's no texture. And I did that yesterday, so it's good and dry. I'm going to start out with just a plain uh, lead pencil, number two. I'm just going to scribble. I'm not thinking. Never think. Make sure you take some of your lines from, uh, from out to the edge so everything is not just centered. Okay, that was just pencil. And this is a Stabilo pencil, which is water soluble. So uh, this, this will smear and make drips. And sometimes I get asked, well, what do you put on top of that so it doesn't smear? I like it to smear, so. Next thing I'm going to use is a Sharpie, black Sharpie, because these are all fairly thin lines. I want to put some thick lines down as well. So this is a thicker line, and again, I'm not thinking. just a plain marker. This is a yellow pencil by Lycra. So you don't have to just put black lines down, you can put colored lines as well. This is a uh, pen, it's a pen marker by Stabilo in blue, and it's a nice thin line. And I usually look to see where I don't have many things going on. I don't have a lot going on right in here. And I usually look right into my camera. spray it with some water. So some of those lines will smear. Can you see can you see the stabilo what's happening with the stabilo making some making marks. I 
usually try to wipe it up at the edge. One thing about edges, um, a lot of artists will go around the edge. I don't, only because I get so focused on what I'm doing that I don't even think about those edges until it's done. So what I'll do is I usually just paint, I usually paint it with a color that will coordinate with the painting itself. I use a lot of black, so a lot of times I paint it with black, but uh, not always. This is a uh, art crayon by Marabou. I love these. And these will, uh, these are very, very waxy. They will usually dry in uh, 24 hours, but I don't wait for them to dry. I'm too impatient. And they screw just like a, like a, a lipstick. Okay, that was purple. Now I'm going to use some uh, paint. And I'm going to use a big brush. What, about an inch and a half? And one nice thing about a brush like this is you can make it thin or you can make it thick. And I want all my lines to be of a different width. Okay, now I'm gonna spray it with water. This is the way a lot of artists start painting. Abstract or non-objective artist. Why don't we start this way? Love to get black lines. Some of this black is already started to dry. You get some black lines up. In here. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with my underpainting. I'm going to let all of this dry, and then I'm going to start painting, guys. Okay, um, this is now dry, so I'm going to start putting color on. And I'm just going to put color on randomly. I'm not even thinking at this point. I'm, I just basically want to cover most of the canvas with color. So that's where I'm going now, and I'm using blues and greens to start out with. And this is a yellow green that I'm using. fairly transparent. Put a little bit of white in it, change it up a little bit. This is Thalo Blue. from one area to the next. I'm going to put a little bit of white into that then. And I'm not brushing like this. I'm really putting it on. I'm just basically rubbing it in more than anything. I'm going to put 
put some white into that. You see how I took it over into the green. This is uh, phalo turquoise. You can come in and watch. hallway watching. I'm not worried. At this point, some people will say, well, why do you put all those lines on there if you're going to cover them up? Um, because it gets me started, for one thing. It gets the juices flowing. Plus, a lot of times, especially if I'm using transparent paint, the lines show through. So, it gives you history to a painting. I think I'm going to put some white in with that a little turquoise and if the paint if the paint blends together that's great no problem with that whatsoever okay this is blue green probably my least favorite color so far now you can see even the blue green is fairly opaque but you can still see my lines through it I'll put some white in it I want all of the colors to intermingle. I don't want, I want, I'm putting one on top of the other on top of the other. Because I want them to intermingle. I'm not worrying about design or anything right now. I'm just covering the canvas and having some fun. This is Payne's Gray. and I flung it all over. That's okay. A little bit of white in it with that Payne's Gray. Which is a more of a neutral color. And I always try to put neutrals in every one of my paintings. Did I take the art book really quickly? Yeah, you want to see the art book first? Yeah. Did I get the painting? Yeah. That's, That's green. That's green. How old is she? Uh, she'll be two in a few months. Oh, she knows her color. She's a good girl. Good job. <laughs>
like the like peaceful kind of thing. Like you're by yourself. Dinner, brush. Most of this is not going to show, but some of it may. Okay, I'm fairly, I'm happy with it. I have a lot of white paint out. I want to use some of this white paint out. And I am just putting paint on the canvas, not really thinking. And a lot of this is making uh, texture. What I'm doing here is I am twisting my brush as I am painting. I have a lot of white paint. I'm trying to use up. I'm going to do that same thing up here for, for balance. A lot of paint on my brush, as you can see. too early to be happy with it. Way too early. Way too early. Okay, this is all the same height, so I have to bring something down further. Make sure that you put one on top of the other. Now let's connect it somehow. Let's connect this to that. Can you see how it's connected? Your eye actually jumps from here to there. But we can even help it along by just doing something like that. And put some line on top of it, so it's, I never want anybody to know what's the last thing that I did. So I will constantly be going in with other colors just to mess it up. I'm going to use this green. I've got this, and this is a Nova medium green, and I forgot to use it. I have it out on my palette. Always take something out of your painting. Never just in the middle. And the colors that I'm using is all Nova, just so you know. Okay, I'm done for the day. And uh, I like what's happening. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? But I do like it tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Today's Sunday, so I don't come in Monday. Sometimes I don't come in on Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, I am working on my taxes at home. So I promised my husband I would get it, have it ready for the accountant by Wednesday. So uh, you might not hear from me until Wednesday, but we'll see. But I like where it is. And... Um, I like these straight lines here. I think I'm going to put some straight lines somewhere else as well before I quit. Don't make them the same length and don't make them the same width apart. Now this one I'm going to bring down further 
can you see how this one starts before that one? This one starts way in here. Uh, this one comes out the whole way back to here. Maybe I'll put a long one up at the top. Okay. There are a lot of very thick paint, so I am going to let it uh, dry for a day or two, and then when I come back, we're going to start adding warm colors. Uh, I have no idea where this is going. Uh, so we will see. And I thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I sure would appreciate it, guys. Uh, have a great video. day. Of what it looks like.